In this video, we're talking about how to export alpha channels inside Premiere Pro. Alpha channels are where you have that transparent background around the subject that you want to show. They're really good for motion graphics work and they can come in handy when you're doing any sort of compositing stuff inside Premiere Pro. All right, I'm in Premiere Pro right now and I have a background clip as well as this Alien Will Lower Thirds title. Now this one already is with a transparent background, but for the purposes of this tutorial, let's assume that I just created this graphic and I haven't exported it yet with an alpha channel. There are only a few codecs that can export alpha channels, so I'll walk you through a few of my favorite. We can go to File Export or press Command M or Control M on the keyboard. That will open our Export Settings window. And then under Format, let's choose QuickTime. Go down into the Video Codec and we'll choose Apple ProRes 4444. And then if we go lower, you'll see there's an area that says the depth. Right now it's set to eight. If we set it to eight plus alpha or 16 plus alpha, that will give us an, an alpha channel. So with eight BPC plus alpha selected, you could go to export and then you would have an alpha channel uh, with the file that gets exported. Or at the bottom, you can make sort of a stencil around it by exporting only the alpha channel. And keep in mind, exporting with an alpha channel will create pretty large files compared to exporting with a regular codec. So I wouldn't recommend exporting anything with alpha channels unless you actually are working with something that requires a transparent background. Another codec that you can use within the QuickTime format is the video codec animation. And this one has 8 BBC plus alpha, so you make sure that one is selected. So those two will give you the .mov file format. If you prefer to work in something else such as MXF, you could do the Apple ProRes MXF format. And then you'll see under the video codec, you can choose various options here. So we can go stick with the uh, XQ4444. And then at the bottom, you'll see that you can also choose the same as the uh, ProRes in the, in the QuickTime format. Basically the same thing, except you get a different uh, format wrapper called a uh, .mxf. So those are three ways you can export an alpha channel. And I should note that there are other options here, such as TIFF, that will allow you to export an alpha channel. However, be very careful because the .tif format will export individual frames. So when you export your video, you'll export it into a folder and then you'll go to that folder and there's gonna be like hundreds of frames because it actually exported each individual frame. Sometimes that's what you want. Let's say you're working on like a raw photo time-lapse, but in most cases, you wouldn't really wanna export uh, individual frames. You'd rather compile everything into one finished video. All right, so that's it for this quick video on how to export alpha channels inside Premiere Pro. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. It really does make a big difference in the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel for more videos from us. We put out about one video a week. We have like over a hundred other filmmaking tutorials and review videos on the channel. So check those out if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.